Welcome back to another Canada vlog. So I'm here picking up uh, my aunt so that we can have a day together. Um, we're gonna go have lunch and do some errands, some shopping, and then I have a therapy appointment in the afternoon. So yeah, it's gonna be a full day for me. It is quite rainy, which is kind of disappointing because we wanted to go on a nature walk. So yeah, that kind of sucks. But anyways, um, yeah, so come along with me again today in this vlog. Yes, let's go, yellow. So, another birthday gift. I got a pink Yeti. So yeah, because I like Yeti and I used to have a blue one that was a gift also <laughs> from a Beezer. And uh, yeah, I love this color. So it keeps my water cold when I'm out driving around the whole time. By the way, I can easily get an international driver's license or driver's license over there in Kuwait but it's not the same as driving here. So um, no, I don't really enjoy driving over there, you know, so um, I'm gonna be a passenger princess when I'm there, so yeah. <laughs> Hi guys. So we are eating at a vegetarian restaurant today. It is actually quite a delicious place. I've eaten here before. Here's a glimpse at their menu or part of it. So my aunt wanted to show that she had the soup of the day, which was tomato and lentil, and she had a falafel sandwich on gluten-free bread. She loves it. And I had a pad thai, though it's not like traditional pad thai, but it's like noodles with like a peanut kind of sauce with vegetables. It was actually really good. All right, time for my therapy appointment. I'm just waiting in the waiting room now. Hey guys, so I just finished at my therapy session. Um, now, granted, when I made the appointment, I told them I was planning on making this an ongoing effort to address my mental health, you know, because I was planning on staying here. So then the main focus of this <clears throat> session, and, and the therapist was very on point, you know, just by little things I would tell her about my story, like recent story, sort of the past few years, she talked about grief, you know, grieving things that I still haven't really grieved, you know, parts of me who I was, not necessarily a bad thing grieving, but sometimes when there's change, whether it's good or bad, you grieve parts of things that are changing. But it was nice to have my feelings validated, especially since I don't know anybody really who understands me wanting to go back to Kuwait. But this therapist did. And she gave me a lot of reasons why I would want to go back there based on what I told her. And my feelings were validated. And they also came up with a lot of resources for me to have access to healthcare um, remotely. Um, there's some binge eating uh, program resources, addiction services, and the mental adult mental health program, which is like covered by OHIP, it's like a year and a half wait. So for like one-on-one -on -one counseling. So we'll just see. Um, I have some resources. They also suggested help me pick out resources in Kuwait. So the focus is to also have access to some resources there, which there are community centers, but they're Islamic, you know? so. They made a good point that a lot of it's probably going to be through a religious perspective, which makes sense. And, you know, being a revert, you know, they suggested finding other revert expat groups that might be support. So they also started, I told them, you know, socializing. I isolate a lot because socializing, getting out there is kind of overwhelming when I'm feeling, you know, down. So they suggested just going out in public without socializing. So just going out more. So there's things I have that I have to work on, but I feel more confident having gone through this session. It's definitely not a waste of time. And they're one phone call away if I ever need another one whenever I need it, so. Hey guys, so I am super excited. I'm waiting for the bus. I took a taxi um, to this location. The easiest, fastest way. My, you know, the key is almost done for. So <laughs> the best way for me to get to the um, airport 
is by bus. I went, I have to take an airplane in Montreal airport. So I'm gonna take a shuttle bus from Ottawa to Montreal and I'm gonna take it from the University of Ottawa express bus. It has a bathroom, everything. I'll show you when I'm on the bus. All right, thanks for joining me on this adventure. Pretty much just packed my one suitcase and this carry-on bag. I'm here at the airport and I'm looking for my check-in gate. So for Qatar Airways, let's go. Excuse me. The flight to Kuwait was only an hour and a half, but Qatar Airlines was nice and gave us some nacho chips, guacamole, salsa, and an orange juice. It was actually really good. Mm -hmm. 